Yes, yeah, Susie and Jeff, they're still here behind me right now after searching two different homes in Orange County earlier today. Right now, federal investigators still inside this garage. The possible link, as you said, this was a business partner and the alleged former boyfriend of the victim. While the FBI is not naming him as a suspect, neighbors we spoke with out here tonight told me that they, he is known for having rocket fuel in his garage. He used to make rockets that are about as big as I am, you know, so he'd do it right here in, in the driveway by his garage, so, and he'd go out to the desert. Longtime neighbor Mushroom Montoya says Stephen Beal, the man whose home is now surrounded by federal agents, was a friendly man known in the neighborhood for making rockets. But now, as new details emerge about the bombing of his business partner and alleged former girlfriend, Ildiko Kraniak, Beal is under the spotlight. He told us that, that he was involved with her financially. And he was helping her out. Tonight, federal agents loaded boxes of evidence from Beale's garage. He still hasn't been named as a suspect in the death of the 48 year old esthetician who was killed when a bomb exploded in her Aliso Viejo day spa Wednesday afternoon. Sheriffs announced the bombing was deliberate, and they say it was not sent through the Postal Service. Security tape early this morning shows federal investigators rolling up in front of this home in Tribuco Canyon, where Craniac lived with her mom and estranged husband. In Long Beach, earlier today, Day, ATF agents removed a gun along with evidence from her alleged boyfriend Beale's home. Tonight we're learning more about Craniac's financial woes. As neighbors say, she traveled the world, some countries, with Beale. According to state records, Beale was the secretary and CFO of Craniac's corporation, a corporation that was formed when Craniac and her husband were going through Chapter 13 bankruptcy. According to court documents, they owed money to a list of creditors and the IRS. They Apparently agreed to pay their creditors back about $3,200 a month. Their bankruptcy was closed and dismissed the day before the bombing. Now, uh, the family friend uh, has made it very clear that the Craniac family does not want to go on camera. We also tried to reach out to her estranged husband. He also declined any chance to talk on camera. That's the very latest from Long Beach. Back to you guys in the studio. Okay.